what is going down everyone and today we're going to be looking at the adrenaline pro software 21.q1 now has a little bit of a rival 21.q2.1 so we're going to be testing the difference between the two if it is an installment portion we're going to be covering some of the patch notes my name is mac here at the macgyver 7 channel and today we'll be looking at what amd is doing for more of the computing units rather than the fps for gaming uh, we'll have a follow-up segment that will be the good the bad the ugly that will compare a better standard because i don't think 21.7.2 is worthy yet and then we'll match it up against the standard and the 21.q2 but for right now let's go ahead and digest what has changed in just that for the patch notes and some benchmarks now one of the things i like to do for as far as since this is more of like a rendering portion from what people are doing they're doing workloads and actually utilizing a workstation in the proper portion for creation inside of the editing and what we're looking at for as far as Blender, you can see there's barely any change. It all comes down to right around about milliseconds. As you can see, it does change a little bit as it goes up the chart, but this is the older driver versus the newer driver, where you can kind of see a tiny bit of a reduction. Let's go ahead and scrub out what we have for our patch notes. For as far as the Radeon Pro software for the Enterprise Edition, it's designed to deliver a little bit more for as far as the leading uptime and stability. Rigorous multi-web testing, and they have their ISV certification going through that, so you can see for the industry, has the most stable driver, so they claim. So, we're moving on past that for as far as things on install and issues that we should be looking towards is uh, fixed issues that the driver install failed with the Radeon Pro WX7100 card. And on top of that, stability for as far as Adobe. Now, looking at known issues that are still out there, the primary display goes black while disconnecting the secondary display, the Infinity I set up on the system, different display resolutions for as far as that Pro WX7100 model. The second display will go blank inside of the quad buffer inside of the stereo configurations in the passive stereo mode for as far as some versions of the Microsoft Windows. So there are some notes for as far as what they will put down below for the AMD drivers for the DHC compliant, the Pro for as far as as, as is support. There's not a lot of people are utilizing this as much as they are utilizing the Adrenaline software as the native gaming card. And as I've shown before in the past, sometimes it is almost designed to be a fair balance for people that are doing creators but this is literally for people that are doing workstations just dedicated they're not even really playing video games at all um, so i mean amd's come a long way now on top of this for as far as they have an intended use for products running the apple boost camp uh, for the platform, the users inside of that platform should contact their system manufacturer for driver support. On top of that, for as far as installing Windows in the operating system and logins onto the administrative, on the right, complete the Radeon software for as far as the installation and completing some of the features inside of the product for as far as referring to a list that will be here conveniently for most people that you can definitely take a look at that will be attached to this article. So moving on to that, let's go ahead and get to some benchmarks looking at the 4k department when you'd be directly creating stuff with inside of direct x12 it definitely does get a nice little boost about 20 which isn't that bad it's not a percentage where we're going to jump forward but if you have the right card running this software you probably will start to see some pretty cool stuff now when you size up the 1080p department you see a slide back but they did boast stability so this could be something where it was over accelerated and they were needing to down tune, but that is a good chunk, almost 300 inside of the graphics score, while the CPU kind of takes a reduction too. It's, it's a very interesting debacle, but you don't lose a percentage, so there's there's got to be some performance stability there. The 4K support continues from the Adrenaline software now into the Pro Enterprise software, where it showcases that they are pushing forward with inside of DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 for a lot more 4K support. So they are giving a lot of the players, though that does leave a lot of the 1080p and some of their extreme settings kind of getting less performance increasements as they used to doesn't mean that they don't care it just i'm starting to notice on the test swings as you can look driver to driver where our old one is on the left and the new one is on the right there actually is a nice little leap when it comes down to 
some points. Now with the trail continuing down to the extreme portion of Fire Strike for our DirectX 11 installment testing, you can see that, well, it definitely does increase, but, but not by a lot. I mean, it, it's by inches, where it used to be the same thing for 4K. So like what I mentioned before, where they're catering to a certain crowd, now they're more focused on that. The physics does definitely increase, and that would be great for a lot of people trying to put a lot of stuff on the field. So this driver so far is really well balanced for people that are wanting to upgrade from the 21.q.1 to the 21.q2.1, which is the one on the right. So we're seeing the right choice being to install the new driver. Now this one was definitely cool to see because we saw the biggest increasement like for as far as point wise and it definitely laid down some work for the newer driver. So ultimate end, what am I looking at? Should I install the pro enterprise software? Yes, if you are a creator and you're just making a workstation, it's great. Should I install it to play video games? No, I'm gonna make a whole other segment about that. That's gonna be the good, the bad, the ugly, but I'm just waiting for a better driver to appear on the field that we can size up with an optional against the standard because I'm not 100% impressed with it. It's good steps, but not the steps I'm looking for. So everyone, if you're newer to the network, like, share, and subscribe. If you are a creator, definitely give this one a shot. If you have some issues, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what you have to show. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe that, you know, this new 7000 series will be so surplus that they'll be cheaper than MSRP on day one. Oh, I don't know. You'll just have to subscribe to find out. That would be sweet, though, if they overproduced something and the surplus was higher than what they were trying to charge. So it was like everyone was discounting to get rid of them. Be amazing. But the future's great. Who knows what will come around each pixel as we look around. But I will see you guys and gals there. Stay safe. Stay classy.